guys, it's Brandon Spillie from ThirstTim.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the offset kettlebell swing, um, or even the offset conventional kettlebell swing. This is a great exercise to develop some lower body power, as well as get some free abdominal work uh, while we're doing it. So you're gonna need one kettlebell, and this is gonna be an advanced progression on your normal kettlebell swing. So your normal kettlebell swing, you've got your feet out good and wide, kettlebells here. We're gonna be hinging at the hips, throwing the kettlebell back, and bringing it forward explosively, using our glutes and our hamstrings, and bringing it up to about belly button to chest level, not going going way overhead like the CrossFit stuff. Okay, this is merely about lower body power and even get some conditioning if you happen to use it as part of a conditioning circuit. But with the offset one, what we're gonna do, this is gonna be, again, more challenging. We're gonna have our feet in our conventional stance, so just right underneath our hips and shoulders. We're gonna grab the kettlebell in whatever hand that we want. So if we're gonna do my right side, we'll start with right, left, again, that's what I mean by whatever you want here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna perform a kettlebell swing here with it just at this side, okay? So what we're gonna try to do is replicate what we would normally do from here in that stance and explosively as we can. We're gonna wanna make sure we keep our abs good and strong. So trunk should be good and rigid while we do this. We go to swing it, we don't wanna be turning our whole body. We want to resist that turn and then try to use it to throw it in front of us. So quick demo here from the front, back. And then from the side here, for you, here. Just like that, okay? So, what you can notice, as I'm throwing it back, it's almost like going skiing, right? So I'm gonna throw my hands back, or just the one in this case, here. Glutes, hamstrings coming, pop it forward. If you're doing this right, you are gonna feel something in your back, but you're gonna feel your abdominals, your QLs, trying to keep this good and steady. It's not like a extension thing. It's more of, hey, my midsection is working um, dynamically while I'm trying to improve glute hamstring work. So the reason I like this particular exercise is for if I need to limit an athlete's weight they're gonna use in season, but I'm still wanting to maybe get some quality glute hamstring explosive work and free abdominals. So, I mean, think about all the things we're getting out of this. We're getting some power, we're getting some conditioning. We're also getting glute hamstring work. We're also getting free trunk work. There's a lot of boxes checked with just one exercise. And I can promise you by just doing 10 to 12 on each side, you can already tell how I'm breathing here, which is a 30 pound kettlebell, that it's gonna get a lot done in a little bit about a time, especially if you put this in like a conditioning circuit as mentioned. Now, something that you wanna think about though, if you're trying to influence change in position or you've got low back issues, how this might help is that when you have a load in your right hand, your body's naturally gonna turn the opposite way, right? So. You think the, with the weight this way, it's trying to pull you this way. Well, to counteract that, the body's have to pull down and go this way, otherwise it would pull you this way, right? So our body's gonna want to go, in this case, if it's in my right hand, to the left. So if we've got somebody that's got a big asymmetry really extended on this position, um, more so than the other, you know, they've been lacking some um, hard internal rotation on that left hip. By doing this on just the right side, I can tell you, one, I already feel my glutes, my hamstrings working on my right side a lot, which is great, but I can also feel that all this was working as well, and I can feel like my left side is more opened up than compared to my right side because of that. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have questions about that, uh, just leave them in the comment sections. I can explain that in further detail. But from a programming perspective, that's something to consider um, because you can influence those changes and especially if you're doing this as like a warm up, then that can be a great thing before you necessarily go squat, bench, deadlift, what have you. You can influence some of those changes and get good and warmed up to prime your body before you go take one of those big lifts. So you've got two main ways you can implement this into your programs as a warm up and as a conditioning or main lower body exercise for your athletes. So if you're gonna program it, what I would do, if it's the warm up, one to two sets, 10 to 15 swings on the side that you need it on, 
Preferably, if you want to do both just to be safe, that's entirely okay. But more cases than not, because of the PRI stuff, you're probably gonna need more reps on your right than your left to influence that change. Um, again, leave questions in the, in the comment section if you got questions about that. But in terms of your main movement, what we're gonna to try to do here is try to get 10 to 12 good explosive swings, switch sides. I usually, again, like to pair this with something upper body related. Um, usually if I'm gonna exercise like this, I'm gonna do like a face pull or pull apart, some kind of upper back work because I already know I'm checking the trunk and the lower body piece and the conditioning piece. So really that's the only thing that I'm missing out of this exercise in my opinion. So again, three, four sets, 10 to 12 per side on average is gonna be good enough for you. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks, have a great day.